So we've seen common table expressions, we've seen temporary tables. Uh, the last one I'm going to show you are table variables, which is another way of non-persistent table storage, meaning we're not actually creating a table that's being stored in our database, but instead we're just making some ta table-like thing, variable, temporary thing that we can uh, use as we need to. Um, so table variables are the last ones I'm going to show. Uh, just like other variables, if you notice here, I can say declare um, at my age uh, an int, and that defines or declares a variable called my age, and its and its data type is int. Well, I can instead of saying int, I can say um, let's just roll with what we've been doing in the previous videos. Uh, people in London, but instead of saying int, I'm going to say hey, it's a table. And now I need to define the scheme of the table, just like I did here with this temporary table. So I'm actually going to cheat and just cut this and paste it right there. Uh, we no longer need the temporary table. So now we have this uh, table variable. And now I can insert into the table variable and select from it. And just like we did with the temporary tables. Now watch, I'm going to hit a 5. And there we go, we have our our temporary table, we're able to access it in several, in, in in more than one query or or command, I guess, insert into, select, whatever, yada yada yada. The, really the only difference between this and those temporary tables I showed in the previous videos is that just like all variables that begin with the at symbol, their scope is defined to the current batch. So when I put go there and say, hey, okay, separate this batch from this batch, notice I'm getting the squiggly now saying, hey, um, 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 it's not there. So I'll run it and then we get the error. Okay, it's good, it's good for this batch, but not good for this batch. So again, I hate to get a little religious in these videos. I'm trying to just show the constructs and let you decide what's what. But I, 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 I if you would, just, just let me divulge a little bit. I think it's a little unfortunate that we have all these different kind of temporary tables. We have common table expressions, we have these table variables I showed in this video, we have temporary tables, but not only do we have temporary tables, we have uh, global temporary tables and local variable uh, table variables. And really the only difference between all those construct constructs is their scope. Can you access it in this batch? Can you access it in this session? Can you access it across sessions? I mean, that's really the only difference, but now we have all these terms and complexities. So I think uh, the SQL language here is a little bit unnecessarily uh, complex, but it is what it is. So take it or leave it and use them and use these tools as, as you see fit.